So you can get really early kills with doing an up air chain and then egg, and we actually will see the Ganon in this game. We're going to PS2. Yeah, I think PS2 and um, Small Battlefield are definitely like the stages I'd be going for straight away. More so Small Battlefield than PS2, just a personal preference, I guess. But they are kind of on the same stage, except you can't go one to one of them. And starting off the game, um, Solar gonna get 70% pretty quickly. I suppose, um, especially with the fish, it's just really hard to get in with Ganondorf, or with Ganondorf, because never mind, that is a kill right there. Ganon obviously oh. getting so much off of so little at times, but... That's how well heavy his rubber slows. Yeah. Ganondorf especially because the smash stacks just kill so early. Oh, no, oh, smash is <laughs> gonna do it again. I think he was at 60 after the hit. Yeah, I think the only way you can avoid that is like rolling away from them. Because of how big oh. the hitbox is, it covers most of the platform. So if you're not oh, taking a lot of the time, it's just gonna kill you. I'm all the smashes now. So they're doing a good job near the ledge though, just of covering options and... He's been doing very well at the ledge this whole tournament, he's been keeping the opponent off the ledge, reading the roll get-ups and punishing them accordingly. Yeah, I feel like the set will definitely be closer towards the end of... or towards the end of it, because I feel like Solar definitely a really good player to adapting to other players' playstyles and really like carrying the momentum just to get early kills and things like that. That will close off the stock, or w that will close off game one though. Going into game two, Solar has a lot to think about and what he can do to actually beat out a lot of Cretan's options, especially up smash after tech chasing on the platform it is a really good option for Ganondorf because it covers so much of the platform. Yeah, and just, it will kill a ridiculously early and if it doesn't, that's at least like 20 damage. Yeah. 30 maybe even it's charged if it doesn't kill and then even and then if it doesn't you're in a really bad spot above Ganondorf with when he has the ginormous up air and that up smash as well yeah definitely not a good position to be with or to be in especially I'm pretty sure pit is pretty light so Ganondorf definitely going to be getting early kills off of up smash and forward smash and all that if they have light go ahead Hmm? Oh, sorry, I thought you were saying something. Um... We're going to FD now. I think Pit is better on FD, just for some reason there's no way to read dodge the arrows. And that would be really... Like, Gandor can't really deal with the arrows very well, considering he's so slow and... In the air and on the ground, the arrows will just do so much in neutral to Gandor. Yeah, especially on FDU as well. I feel like Ganon's gonna have like a, a bit of a journey to get from one side of the stage to the other. And oh, that's really unfortunate. Kraken gonna get the forward smash there that will close off the first stop. Solar definitely gonna have to get a edge guard or something like that to have a chance of getting back in, which is done. And it is now even Back. again. Definitely going to be so something Solar wants to keep doing and keep putting pressure on the ledge to try get early kills. Solar definitely has momentum at this point in time, which as we saw earlier in the set, really good for Solar to just keep going with the momentum and getting early kills. And just really good damage. And that down B again gonna have a really good chance or a really good way of just punishing the forward smash straight away. 
Especially with Pit having like fast down or slash attacks as well. Definitely really good for Pit just to be able to punish straight away in a close range. Yeah, Pit down B is, I think, very underrated. It blocks almost every attack that comes from above or below. And then if, if you, if, like there, if you smash that because it does break it, Pit has no lag at all where he can just F smash you. Yeah. As well as, like, um, it's, in ways, it's just a better shield, because it just reflects projectiles, and also there's no shield break to worry about. Yeah. If anything, well, like, the, sh the shield break isn't that much of a problem, because you just get to punish anyways. Yeah, but does have the weakness of not covering above and below him. Yeah. Yeah, Ganondorf as well, one of those characters you have to be really patient with, which isn't easy on FP, especially because- Oh, that is the up smash, and that will close off the stock for game two. So they're doing a really good job adapting there to all of Ganon's uh, smash attacks, and just a lot of Ganon's options in general. Especially the smash attacks, like the down B helped so much there, where I feel like Solar was getting hit a lot more by the dash attacks in the first game. Yeah, going into game three, I wonder if we'll see any characters from Kraken because she does have like seven different characters they will play at different times. Yeah. And, oh, we're going to Yoshi's triplat. Woo! Yoshi's story. This should be an interesting one. So because of Yoshi's, I would imagine that Kraken is sticking with Ganondorf. Ridley. Oh, interesting. Actually, is Ganondorf good on Yoshi's? I just have- I just imagine that most heavies are good on Yoshi's story, but I could be completely wrong saying that. But... I don't really see why he isn't, but I don't really see why not either, I suppose. Yeah, but then again with Ganon, I feel like that will be probably the best stage, because he doesn't really do- I feel like that's another reason he's just not a good character, is just because he doesn't get anything off of any state most stages. Because, like, even if it, the slide is closer to the, uh, or closer to the, um, ledge, it's actually gonna hurt Ganon as well because of how early Ganon can be hit off stage. Because... How early I'm gonna kill him as well. Yeah. Because obviously Ganon will be killing a lot earlier as well, but at the same time he's not benefiting off of it because of how early Ganon can be hit out of his recovery. Speaking of, or back to the game, though, um, Solar definitely doing a good job. It's definitely a lot more of an even game. And that slide is not going to kill yet. I think one more will do it at the ledge. Yeah. And down B actually being a really good option getting to ledge there, because it's so hard to beat at times. Because you have to get below them, which if they're already near the ledge, it's going to be really hard to do. Or you have to get above them. Which, I think yeah. above will probably be the better option, because there's a possibility of a spike, depending on the character. More well, I think shielding would be a good option, and then maybe punishing when they hit the shields, because when hit side hits shield, it'll still display the animation, but obviously you won't get a, a knockback. So they'll be in their animation, and their enemy lag, or whatever, and you get free hit on them almost. Yeah. I feel like a lot of players are put off when Sit does it, or Pit does a side B and it goes because you know how it goes up when it hits a shield. I feel like a lot of players are put off on punishing it because they think it's too hard to punish. But yeah, when they're in reality there's a lot of end lag on that move. Yeah. I feel like it's the same with them spawn or Sonic um neutral B. A lot of people don't think it's it has that much end lag, but it actually I'm pretty sure it has more end lag than Morlock Punch. And that up B is gonna close that off for game three. So. Off of the screen. Going up to a game four. Cretan up to one. I think Solar is going to go back to his roots and ban Triplots again. 
Yeah, definitely not a bad idea, especially against Ridley, who I feel benefits off or er, tri platforms. Do you think um, Ridley ledge camping would be a viable option against Pit, actually? It's because I know Ridley can do it to a lot of characters, but. I don't think Pit can really hit you if you're kind of like hanging under the ledge without running off himself. Not yeah. much Pit can really do. Maybe down tilt hits the ledge when your ledge invincibility is gone, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, because I, I know a lot of characters struggle against Ridley, just like sitting at ledge and just nairing as well, because the nair has such a huge hitbox, it's just hard to challenge at times at the ledge. Yeah, I don't think Pig can do that much against Ridley when, when he's just ledge camping. Okay, that being said, a lot of nares came- oh, that was almost a zero to death there. I believe that was the DI and jump out of it, but... Yeah, because I think you need to be holding the- or er, like, towards the blast zone to get out of the combo. But also, that doesn't really feel right, because it feels like you're gonna be hit into the blast zone straight away when you're- In reality, you're actually dying from holding in. That- So- Was unfortunate was for both players there. Yeah, Solar gets a great edge guard, and then unfortunately is not able to recover, but then Kraken misses the tech as well, which is... I think if Kraken hit that tech, they'd be able to recover as well, because the Radiant up the was extremely far, and there's multiple jumps as well. Yeah, definitely. Both characters have, like, great ways to get him back up to stage, or back on stage as well, which I feel is definitely going to play, or play a part in this game, because they actually need to finish off the job rather than trying to edge guard and just like get them off far enough so that their recovery doesn't reach. That being said, back air back is actually going to kill pretty early, I think? I think it was 89%. Yeah, that's pretty early for Ridley. That being said, definitely not too far away. Solar could definitely bring this back with just one kill and then just a few percent, I guess. Oh, that's gonna be dead. Oh. Dead. And I believe that is the end of game. Four. Cretan Four. Wins. Oh, wait. Cretan wins. My, my, my beloved number nine. Cretan is the winner of the tournament, then. Congratulations. I don't have the sound effect, but actually, I didn't get that. <laughs> I'm so effect. Congratulations. Clap, clap, clap. Congratulations to Crescent then for winning. Wait, 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 wait. Wi Fi wait, wait. I think I'll try to get it up. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to, though.